Hello friends, happy Tuesday. I did not vlog yesterday. I was just kind of getting back into the swing of things after my holiday. Well, my like few days off. And yeah, you will have seen that it's snowing. It's April. What is going on? I'm in the lab. I'm still finding it difficult to get back into the swing of things, to be honest. This is what always happens after I take a few days off. I get so happy and relaxed and enjoying not doing my PhD. And then I need to come back. And it's incredibly difficult to get back into it again. But I'm trying to be motivated. I'm trying to be disciplined. Let's go and do that lab work. Hello, good morning. I'm in the noisy room, so I don't know if you can even hear me. But I have just arrived in the lab. And the first thing I'm going to do is check the samples that I put to dry underneath the nitrogen dryer yesterday. So let's see if they are dry. Hello, my friends. I just ran up the stairs, so I'm a little bit out of breath. As you might be able to tell, I am not in the lab anymore. I am at home. And I just want to jump on for a second to just be real and honest with you guys. So I actually did quite a lot this morning. I managed to bash out quite a good bit of work in a couple of hours and I was drying some more of my sample, got it transferred to the vials, took some weights of some of my samples. I also finished analysing some data to send to my supervisor. So I got that all done, sent it to him, ticked a thing off my list. Well, ticked a couple of things off my list. Then I had lunch and when I woke up this morning, I was feeling very tired and I'm starting to see the early signs of burnout. Yesterday, I did take two days off. However, they were busy days full of traveling and doing stuff. So I'm not feeling well rested. Also, there's just so many things going on just now with my project. and I'm juggling many different projects and papers and studies and everything. That, yes, I am very scared that this is the early signs of burnout. I'm now at home and it is not even three o'clock yet and usually I would try and force myself to get some work done and to be honest I am just going to take the rest of the afternoon off. I think I have earned this. I think I deserve it. This is one of the perks of doing a PhD and I need to take advantage of this at times like this. It's not often that I have a day without meetings, without things that I urgently need to get done. The things on my to-do list do not need to be done today so I am not going to force myself to do them today. It still gives me a little bit of guilt to be at home and not working from home and just spending like a couple of hours of my day before the working day finishes just focusing on myself. But I'm trying to be better at this and it's not something that I can do all the time. It's not something that I need to do all the time. But yes, today I'm taking this opportunity since I have completed the tasks, the immediate tasks on my to-do list to just relax and try and recharge and try and rest because like I say I can feel those early burnout signs creeping in and I do not want to get to full on burnout stage because it is horrible. <laughs> anyway I will tune in with you guys tomorrow. I am going to maybe have a nap, maybe watch some tv but I am not going to do anything project related and I'm going to try not to feel guilty about it. <laughs> Speak tomorrow. Hello my youtube friends it is Wednesday now and as you can see I'm at home, so it is about 10.30. I'm still suffering from my slump from yesterday, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if it's weather related, if it is burnout, if I'm just exhausted, but whatever the reason is, I am not feeling the motivational vibes. I'm trying to be disciplined, but I'm also trying to think about myself and I know that I have lab work that I need to do this afternoon. I need to plate up some bacteria and I also need to autoclave lots of stuff for the bioassay. So I'm just taking it easy at home this morning, trying to do bits and bobs on the computer if I feel like it. But I'm also trying not to be hard on myself for not getting a lot done. Honestly, it's just a vicious cycle with me. I try and take time to rest to recharge and make myself feel better. And then I feel guilty for resting and not getting my work done because I know I'm a final year PhD student and I have a lot of stuff to do. <sighs> I just cannot seem to find this balance at the moment, but I am working on it. I am working on it. Yeah, so that's my plans. I'm just waiting for my colleague to call me on Teams to go over some stuff. And then, yeah, about lunchtime, I'll try and head into the lab. But the sun is coming out now, so maybe that'll help to perk up my energy levels. Fingers crossed. <laughs> We've made it out of the house, guys. Mission get myself to uni is underway, but we need to buy lunch. When in doubt, eat nice food, right? Isn't that how it works for motivation? Or is that just me?
Hello friends. I am ah oh, look at the pretty pretty building. Um yeah, I'm just leaving the lab now. It's 12 o'clock. I did a lot of things this morning. Oh, a lot of preparing for the bioassay next week. I cannot see what's going on with my hair. A lot of preparing in the micro lab, uh, autoclaving stuff for the bioassay next week. And I had two meetings as well. So I managed to blast everything out this morning and in my efforts to try and look after myself a bit more after my exhaustion episodes this week, I'm going to the gym. And then I'm gonna go home and have lunch. Then I'll do a little bit of working from home. And then I'll go to my group meeting at four and then I'm finished for the weekend. Hallelujah. So yes, are there multiple things that I could be doing in the lab right now? Yes. Do they need to be done right now? No. So I am trying to recognise that my body needs looked after a little bit more and my head needs looked after a little bit more. That's why I'm going to the gym to sort out both of these problems. And I'm not pushing myself to try and do stuff which does not need to be done right now. Who is she with her changed mindset? Let's see how long it actually lasts. But yeah, that's the plan. Check in later on. Mm -hmm.